going on guys Kyle from masculineenergy.net in this video I want to make the best breakup video breakup advice video that I could possibly make and uh, <clears throat> it'll be a little bit more tame and relaxed and chill for the repetitive watch so you guys can handle it and digest it not like you guys can't handle it you guys are strong you guys are awesome but in this current moment, you guys are going through some shit. And I really want to make sure that you guys uh, have the best advice that you can get. And I want to make sure that you guys don't get too overwhelmed with information. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of things and strategies going around from different people and different coaches uh, that will tell you to do certain things. They'll tell you to do 30 day no contact, 60 day, 90 day no contact. They'll tell you to do uh, all kinds of things. They'll tell you to do... You know, people will be like, walk away, never look back. They'll tell you to do all that stuff, which you should do, of course. However, I want you guys to make sure that you understand that you still have a lot of value. You still have the masculinity in you. You still have all that. I'm hard on you in other videos because I'm trying to re reinvoke that. I'm trying to show you guys that it's okay to be on that other side, to be strong and to be uh, outspoken it's okay to be those things and people are tame and people are way too um, what's the word i'm looking for people are far too silenced and quiet there's a much better word out there um, that that is that can be used for that but what i want you guys to walk away with before this gets too fucking boring is you lost your sense you lost your way you lost what value you have through this pain that you're going through. And what I want you to remember is this point uh, in your life, this breakup, this, this, this pain you're going through is necessary for your growth. You don't see it yet, right? Because you are going through it. You can never understand something that you're going through totally uh, when it's hurting as much as it does. So I want you to remember it's going to be an up and down roller coaster of emotions. It's always going to be hard and then easy, hard and then easy in some points. It's going to be really difficult to, to grasp that every time the dang sirens. I'm going to take a look around. I'm going to take a look around because there's got to be like an ambulance uh, spot somewhere close by because almost every video. I haven't heard a siren for like three or four hours or maybe longer. And then of course, anyway, so the first question I always get coaching calls, uh, comments and all that. And I apologize for taking this long to get to the content of the video. But, um, the first question I always get: how do I get her back? What can I do? What actions can I take? What can I, what strength can I display to make her more attracted to me? And I want you to take a real look at the word attraction real quick. The word attraction is taken care of by nature. When you are like when you first meet somebody, you're happy, you you are excited, you're you're living your life, you're single, you know, you're 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 doing your thing. So you don't display any any sense of weakness for the most part, right? Because you're not afraid to lose anything. You're not afraid to to be who you are. And 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 you know, if somebody likes you, they like you. At the end of a breakup, people always are the most weak because they're trying so hard not to get that breakup to occur. They're trying to uh, alter their personality a little bit. They're trying to almost force a good interaction instead of actually just pulling back and, 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 and letting it happen. So really, women are just completely turned off by your weakness, complacency, insecurity. Look back and think, what were you doing and what were you, what actions were you showing her and the world and ask yourself, are these masculine things? Are these strong traits that, that a strong man would put forward and, and display? And what, is, what, a, what a woman or would yourself, would you be attracted to that kind of behavior? And 99% of you are going to say, of course not. There's something that I, you were doing. Uh, because really women are just a mirror of you. Like, of course they have their own thoughts and they have their own feelings. Of course they do. But when they're in a relationship with, an, with a person, uh, when you're strong 
and centered and, and masculine and, and, and on your purpose, they're going to, to be a reflection of that from you. So you're, you're displaying strength, you're doing all this and she's going to reward you with, with uh, femini femininity, okay? She's going to be extremely feminine around you. I think that's a word, right? Uh, she's going to be very feminine around you. She's going to want to be around you more and more. She could be blowing up your phone. And then when you display weakness, she's going to want to be away from you. She's going to tell you to, to basically fuck off. And she's going to be like, look, I don't want to see you. I don't want it, you know, and she'll be breaking up with you. So 99.9% .9 of dudes are like, well, what do I do now? And really what it is, you just start near zero contact. And you have to remember, there's no time limit to this. And remember, guys, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. Uh, all cheese aside. So you got to start no contact. And there is no, there is no end date to this. There is not an end date. There is... Th Everyone's always asking me, I don't, I, I don't know what to do. I feel so hurt this day and I feel so hurt that day for the people who are in my coaching program. And they message me every day and they're like, it's so hard today. I said, just trust the process. And what I think I screwed up on is, and when I say trust the process, the process is you don't know if they're coming back or not. You don't know when or if you're ever going to hear from them. You're moving forward as if you're never going to. That is the process. But in this process, you are supposed to be, and this is what I know that I do, right, is get people on their purpose and their mission and finding what they really love to do in this life. Because most of the guys that are that are coming to me put their women as their focus and their purpose instead of their goals and dreams. So when you take a look at your life, you take an audit, right? I call it the three pillars, health, wealth, and relationships slash personal um, development. Where are you? What are you doing every day to improve these things or try to? Because there's things that are a lot more difficult to do, right? And sometimes you don't really want to work on them. That's just the way that human nature is. We don't always want to be on that grind because if we don't have to be, we're going to choose comfort. Uh, and I've been studying a lot about dopamine and I've been studying a lot about like why we choose to be lazy and choose to do things over other things. Like why, like building a business, for example, is like a slow burn, right? Working out is a slow burn. It does make you feel good in that moment when you've done it. But you really do it for results. And that result that you want to get is way over here. And and you want an instant, we want instant gratification because that dopamine hit hits really fast. Like looking at your phone. When you see likes, that's a, that's a dopamine hit. Uh, and, and so on and so forth. When you get paid and, and, and all that, right? Going back to the topic at hand. So you don't realize your value. You, re you are sitting here wanting somebody back who literally doesn't want to be with you, who doesn't care what happens to you at this moment. They don't want you dead or anything like that, but they don't care that you are hurt over them. And you are asking the coaches of the internet and myself what to do to make them come back to you. But here's the thing that you guys aren't realizing. They have to earn you back. You are a valuable person and when you go through your life you're going to realize that there's a lot of things that you that you can accomplish if you really put your fucking mind to it if you if you remove all the distractions and you really got to work and you really discovered what you're meant to do you are going to make other people's lives better and that's why we do this youtube thing right because we want to try to reach as many people as we can so one more, one more big thing is your value should never, ever be questioned in your own mind. And that is exactly what you guys do throughout your relationships. And when you start putting somebody else first, anybody else, especially girls, we start putting somebody else first. They're going to treat you that way. If you don't stand up for yourself and you don't, uh, you, you don't start putting your foot down, so to speak, right? then you're gonna have a really, really hard time getting people to respect you. And it's not something that you should try to do, people should automatically do it, but that comes from your behavior. So getting somebody to come back to your life is 
is going to be something that is a natural thing, not something that you try to do. Like, yes, you're going to try to do no contact and work on yourself and in hoping you're going to want them to come back. But that's not really how it works. It can work like that, and but you want them to to earn you back because we 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 prefer that they prefer it too we don't want something given to us like for example if somebody breaks up with you and goes out with somebody else they're like okay you know what like uh, this isn't really working out and they come back to you and you're like okay i'll take you back yeah great it's like what did they earn nothing they they that thought of you being weak and and uh you know, low value is still in their thoughts. But when, they, when you aren't there and when they're trying to, th they're thinking about you, they're, they're constantly wondering, did I make this the right decision? And did I do the right thing by breaking up with him? Did I, did I make a mistake? They're going to be constantly thinking of that stuff, whether you know it or not. Now, if they have lined somebody else up already and they're already dating someone else, look, that's a different thing and and it's it's a possibility that you'll never hear from this woman again but that is the whole point you're supposed to try to go forward like you're never going to hear from them again that is that is what this no contact business is for that's how to get your ex back right it's all the same shit you walk away no contact fucking work on yourself every single day and remember your value and they have to earn you back cuz they're going to be thinking about you they're going to be Wondering if they made they made a mistake, if they made the right decision. And what you guys will really start to realize, people come back when you least expect them to. You, whether it's four months, five months, six months, one year, two years, sometimes, uh, like I said, with all my exes, they've all tried coming back at one point with uh, like in, in under a year, right? And sometimes I have friends and cousins and stuff like that of mine that, you know, throughout my life, when they were in relationships, they broke up and they're like, yeah, guess who I'm talking to again years later. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy, right? So you never know. But if you actively try to get somebody to come back to you uh, through, through strat like specific strategies, you're only going to fool yourself uh, because you're you're not telling your brain that you actually want to move forward. You're not you're not you're not forcing your heart to let go of the attachment that you have. And by the way, when you're going through all this, get your heart pumping. This is something I learned from Elliot Hulse, one of my favorite people on the internet. Uh, when you're going through a serious heartbreak, get your heart pumping. It's get that get that exercise. That's why everyone tells you to go to the gym. But that is you're you're going to be like. You're going to want to be like this because you're so hurt. But when you exercise, you, you want to open this up, right? And then, you know, just get moving. Hardcore movement. Get your heart pumping. And uh, you're going to feel better eventually. Yes, it takes time because emotional pain is, is uh, people, you know, it's, it's tough to go through. But um, I, know that, I know that I kind of rambled in this video, but I really want to, to really let you guys know. I don't want any more confusion about this because I, I hear about this in my like live videos all the time. So uh, this is the best breakup advice I can give you and I think it's the best advice out there. So real quick summary, you go through your breakup, you walk away completely, no 30 days, no 60 days, 90 days. You don't expect to ever hear from them again. During this period, you hit the weights, exercise, you lift, you do everything that you can do to in increase your sexual market value. Uh, look at the three pillars of your life, health, wealth, personal development slash relationships. And I'm not talking about women and whatever and dating and all that. I personally think you should stay away from dating for a little while um, and, and, and work on yourself and, and analyze all the situations and things that you did wrong in the relationship and try to at least try to fix those things that you know that you did wrong and be honest with yourself about that. And no matter how much time goes by, you have to always remember that this other person is going to be questioning things at some point in time for a period of time. And then eventually you'll either hear from them or you won't. And what my job is and what I do with my coaching, uh, my ongoing coaching programs, uh, program is I show you how to make some money. 
uh, I analyze what you do in your life, which could be easily worked on and, and, and I keep you guys accountable. Right. Um, and there's a lot more that you could be doing, but I mean, it takes, it takes a long time to get rid of bad habits and, and all that stuff. So anyway, long video, I got to get out of here and I got to, uh, write some blogs and go do some other stuff, hit the gym. So I love you guys. Take it easy. And I hope this was the best. I want to make this the best guide without all the fancy visual stuff that I could put in YouTube videos, but the best guide out there for dealing with a breakup.